Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are gonna kind of do a look back on my first video, on my first YouTube video that I filmed a year ago, December 22nd. So you'll probably be seeing this December 22nd, 2021. And my first video was filmed December, no. My first video was not filmed. My first video was filmed in October of 2020. I didn't end up posting it until December 22nd. So it's a little confusing, but I've had this plant for over a year, but the the first year of me posting on uh, YouTube is coming up here very soon. I think today's the 10th or the 11th. Oh, no, it's the 13th. <laughs> it's December 13th. Um, but I want to kind of show you guys the plant and how it's doing now for my first YouTube video and take it out of its pot and just kind of see what's going on in there. Um, so first thing I want to say too, I did just go on vacation for a week and I got back a week ago today. So uh, some of my plants kind of struggled through that time when I was gone and they've been struggling a little bit with the winter and the colder weather and the lack of sunlight and you know all the usual stuff plants struggle with but on top of that I left them for a week so they got a little bit more neglected than normal. So this is the plant. This was sold to me as a philodendron. Oh it just left my brain. What are you called? Philodendron plowmanii, that took me a hot minute, but this is her. She um, is in need of a water. That's why her leaves are kind of drooping. Um, and this is one of the original leaves that was sent to me on this plant. Another odd thing about this plant is that I got it off of a Facebook group before I used to buy almost like most of my plants from Facebook, but I kind of have stopped doing that. Not no particular reason, but um, yeah. So I got this on a Facebook purge group or whatever from this seller and they sent me the box. It was in October in Iowa. So it was starting to get a little bit chilly. Um, the box never came, the box never came, the box never came, and I ended up getting it, I think it was around three, it was like two and a half, three weeks, the box had been in the post, and when I opened it in the video, you'll see it, I'll try to put in some clips of it, um, it was fine for the most part, it had two leaves when it was shipped, one of them snapped, which I think had nothing to do with it being in the box. I think it was just handled poorly in the post maybe. But this was one of the original leaves and it is starting to yellow, obviously. Um, which is just crazy that this leaf was in the mail for three weeks and had then has survived over a year in my care and has just now started to yellow this winter. So. That's crazy. Plants are very durable. It's not even cold. So, maybe. So, the fact that it's not completely dead is very impressive. So, this leaf looks like it just honestly snapped. So that's not even the fact that it's been in the mail for three weeks. That just snapped off. But we're going to pot up the plant that survived. So I did look up. It was shipped September 9th. And I got it yesterday. And yesterday was October 15th. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Honestly, this plant brings me a lot of joy because of the story and the history behind this plant. But... It honestly hasn't been growing the best. I've only gotten three leaves in the past year and a couple months because like I said, I did get this in October. Um, 
but it honestly hasn't been doing the best. Oh, this is its newest leaf here. And these are crawling plants. So it has started to crawl almost right out of the pot. It's at the edge of the pot here. But the new growth point is on top of this leaf, of this petiole. So usually the growth point would be on this side of the petiole so it continued to grow that way. But now it's on the top of the petiole so it will grow up. I'm not really sure what the situation is. If you guys have experienced this, let me know down in the comments, but I don't know. So really have had so much fun this past year of posting videos and making videos and and um, kind of getting out of my comfort zone on social media and in person too, I guess, because you know, some of the videos you have to like go out in public and like film and talk to yourself in public, which is just something I would have never done, I guess, if I didn't have a reason to. Um, so YouTube has really helped me with that. It's helped me meet new people, new plant people, new plant friends. And it's just been a really fun experience. And so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for being here and watching my videos and liking and subscribing and commenting. And, and it's just, it's just been really fun. And it's crazy that it's been a year since I posted my first video. Like it does not, it does not feel like it's been a year and it has wanted to say thank you all so much I really 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 appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos and and uh subscribing to my channel I think we're at like 370 370 subscribers which is just crazy because I just yeah, I mean, I started doing it for fun and at the beginning it was super helpful and it was it was more helping me motivate myself to get more of my plant stuff done around the house. And then as the time would go on, like I would see that it was inspiring others to get stuff done with their plants. And that just continued to motivate me to do stuff with my plants and to continuously create videos for you guys. I'm kind of rambling at this point, but Moral of the story is thank you guys so much for being here and watching my videos. That's the moral of the story. So I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to take it out. I do have it in moss and I have it in a self-watering pot, which is honestly kind of pointless, I, I think now. Um, yeah, so I have this little dish here. I really need to get a potting mat. Do you guys have potting mats? So yeah, I need to get a potting mat. This is crazy how like this is only maybe for three inches. So in the self-watering systems they have like those holes in the bottom to suck up the water. And the roots have kind of like <laughs> taken the shape, which is just so cute and funny to look at. Um, and then obviously this is where, this is where that water meter is. But I'm just gonna kind of, oh, my mom calling me. Sorry, my mom called, but I'm just gonna, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. The roots honestly look okay. I mean, the roots look good. I guess the roots look good. But I would say that it definitely wants more space. Like I would say it's definitely outgrown this pot. This is just the cutest little spiral thing ever. It's like a perfect circle. So I think I'm just going to put it in this nursery planter. Um, and then just put it in a catch pot. 
Because, I, I mean, I don't really know. I, I'll eventually air layer it and stuff. But I've heard really bad things about just, like, cutting um, crawling plants. They take a really long time to root if you, they don't already have, like, active aerial roots or whatever. Um, and I don't have a long... I guess I do have a long pot. Do I want to put it in the long pot? But where would I put it if it was in a long pot? Sh should I just put it? I'm just, I'm going to go up and look at the long pot and then I'm going to, I'll be back. What I decided was to just put it in the nursery planter and then put it in a catch pot. And that's what we're going to do. Um, I do have, do I just want to rip this leaf off? Okay, can't rip it off, so it's on there. Okay, so I put some more sphagnum on top and I just gave it some nutrients. I use liquid dirt. I don't know, um, which I got all over the table here. I don't know if you saw that, but I was missing the, the thing, but I use liquid, liquid dirt as my fertilizer. Um, everything else kind of scares me. So let me know if you have any fertilizer suggestions down in the comments below that I should try out. Um, I have been thinking about trying what uh, Plant Life, uh, Kaylee from Plant Life in the Tropics uses because it just seems like her plants grow just ex like crazy town like they just grow crazy town which I mean makes um sense that I feel that way because you know you don't see her plants or they're not like my plants where I see them every day and I don't necessarily see the growth but then when you were watching somebody else and you just feel like they just showed you this plant like last month and it's got like six new leaves in a month or whatever like that's all perspective and the internet does weird things, but that's off topic. Let me know what fertilizers you use down in the comments below, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, I am going to cut off this. I am going to cut off this original leaf here. It's pretty well gone. I know a lot of people say that they keep them on until they completely fall off, but I'm just going to, I'm just ready to say goodbye to it. So I'm just going to cut it. Here's that leaf. It's just crazy too, the the size difference. Like this is the newest leaf that's grown in my care and this is the original leaf that grew with the grower or wherever it came from. It's like, I know I need to be, I could be doing something better for this plant, but I don't know. I'm really concerned about this new growth point too. But I just have this catch pot that came from a Costa Farms plant that um, I killed. So, okay, so here's the plant. It's still a little bit droopy, um, but it'll perk back up here in the next couple of hours. I did just soak the sphagnum, so it should be good. It's crazy that it's been a year, I guess, is what I'm here to say. Yeah, but I guess all I want to say is... Thank you guys so much for being here and watching my videos. I just, I really enjoy making these videos. I really wish I would have started making them sooner. If I knew that I was going to enjoy it this much, I would have, but what can you do? So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I wish you all a happy holidays and a happy new year in the next couple of weeks, which is just crazy to say out loud. I guess. Well, I hope you guys are doing well and we will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.